What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you some jailbreak tweaks that made their way into iOS 8. So the first one I want to talk about is third party keyboards. So if you guys haven't heard, iOS 8 is going to allow third party keyboards system wide. Now I can't necessarily show you that on iOS 8 just yet because well, iOS beta 1 just came out so there's not any available right now. But I can show you on my jailbroken iOS 7 device that we have a third party keyboard right here. And this one is called Alt Keyboard 2. Now you're going to have the ability to use a whole bunch of different keyboards on a jailbroken device like HipJot, which is still in beta stages right now. You also have Swipe Selection and Flexi Enabler, just to name a few. So you have the ability to use all these keyboards system wide, and that's pretty awesome. But I'm pretty stoked that iOS 8 is going to bring those third party keyboards system wide. Now I'm not necessarily going to go through every feature of these tweaks as I'm going through them. I've done a review of pretty much all of these so if you want to check those out I'll put a link in the description below and you can get a better look at what all these tweaks can do and all their features. Now the next thing I want to talk about right here is quick type. So you can see right here if I open up the messages and I tap on the little text box right here we have quick type which is basically going to give you suggestive words to type out right here those three boxes right there now that's pretty similar to as you can see right here predictive keyboard which I have installed right here so this predictive keyboard tweak is separate from the alt keyboard tweak right here but this is basically the exact same thing all it's going to do is allow you to tap on these words and it's going to automatically type those out now I haven't done a comparison or anything uh, in terms of which one works better or is better at suggesting words but they do have pretty much the exact same functionality Next thing I want to talk about is quick reply. So if we close out of this right here and let's send myself a message, we're going to get a banner notification and if I swipe down, this is going to allow us to quickly reply to that message without getting out of whatever application that we're in. So we'll just tap OK and we'll send that off and we're back to where we were. So it's nice that we don't have to jump back into the messages app. Now that's something that we've had on a jailbroken device for quite some time. I mean, we've had tweaks like Byte SMS for years. We just got Aki not very long ago, which is a really great quick reply tweak. But one thing that iOS 8 is lacking is that quick compose option. So you can see right here on a jailbroken device, if we wanted to quick compose with Aki, which I have installed right here, you can just swipe down right there and then you can continue to compose that. Just type in the either the phone number or the email address, the iMessage or their name and you can just type in a message right there and send it on its way. So that's something that iOS 8 doesn't have that would be really nice if they added in. Something that's really nice on iOS 8 is the ability to use interactive notifications. Now that's something that you can use on a jailbroken device as well, it just doesn't work quite the same way. I think that iOS 8 is actually going to do a better implementation of these interactive notifications than anything on a jailbroken device as of right now. Now usually when a new iOS comes out you're gonna see a whole bunch of tweaks come out that basically do the exact same features as the new iOS just because people want to keep their jailbreaks but they want the new features of the new iOS so it's very possible that you're gonna see something very similar in the future on a jailbroken device. Next thing I want to talk about is Touch ID for third-party applications. So right now we don't have anything on iOS 8 that is going to allow us to use the Touch ID for third-party applications, but it has been announced that that's going to be something available on iOS 8. Now that's something that we've had on iOS 7 on a jailbroken device for a little while now, ever since the jailbreak has come out. And that's something that I use on a daily basis. So all of my financial applications that I have on here, I have them Touch ID protected. So if you try to open one up, like my PayPal, you can see right there that you actually have to scan your finger before you can get in. So if I go ahead and do that, you can see it opens right up. So hopefully there's gonna be some implementation just like that in iOS 8. I know there's gonna be the ability to actually sign in using that Touch ID for certain applications, so that's gonna be pretty nice. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is being able to change the name of a group conversation in iOS 8. So you can see right here, if I open up the Messages app and I go to Details, you can see that I have more than one person in this conversation, so that's going to give me the ability to change the name of the subject. So if we wanted to do that, you can see right here, we'll just change this to uh, friends. This is actually my sister's, but you know, whatever. We're going to change this to friends, and you can see that it's already changed that name right there. So if I tap back, 
and tap back one more time, you can see that it's actually renamed this conversation to friends. So you can actually do this in a jailbroken device as well, and it's actually a little bit simpler in my opinion. So you can see right here if I jump into the messages app, we're gonna go back, and you can see if I just tap right here, you can just tap and hold, tap rename, and then you can rename the conversation very easily right there. So we'll just name it Hey, and you can see exactly what that does. Now this is due to the tweak called Message Renamer. Very simple and allows you to do the exact same thing as you can do on iOS 8, just in a little bit simpler way. And one restriction that Message Renamer doesn't have is you can rename any conversation. It doesn't have to be a group conversation. On iOS 8, it does have to be a group conversation. If you try to rename one with just one person, it's not going to allow you to do that. So jumping back to the springboard here, the next one I want to talk about is Control Undim. So you can see right here on iOS 8, if we pull up the Control Center, you're going to notice the springboard in the background actually dim as we bring that up, as you can see right there. Now, once we actually tap and start to slide on the brightness slider, you'll notice that the springboard changes that dim, it gets rid of it, and it gives you the live brightness, as you can see right there. Now that's something that we've had on iOS 7 jailbreak for a little while now. So you can see right here, if we swipe up, you'll actually see this is control undim. So it makes the control center transparent and it also gives you that live feed of the brightness right there on the springboard. So just a small feature, but it is something that we've had on a jailbroken device for a while. Next thing I wanna talk about is widgets. In iOS 8, you're gonna have the ability to add widgets to your notification center. So we can't do that just yet, just because, again, we don't have any widgets to add, but we've been able to do this on a jailbroken device for, I don't know, ever since I can remember. But you can see right here that we can actually do this on the springboard as well. So let's just say we wanted to add a new widget to our lock screen. So so I'm just going to change up my look right here. That way I can put a widget right here. So we're going to scroll down here. We'll put the I widget 2. We'll add that. And you can see we've just added a widget. So it's as simple as that. So we're just going to swipe over here. We'll add another one. We'll add the calendar. So now we have a calendar right there. So that's just really nice. And those two tweaks that I'm using, this is just I widgets. And then if we swipe up, this is called boxy. So that's just basically going to change your layout very simply. One thing you're not going to be able to do is change the layout on iOS 8 or add widgets to the springboard. You're just going to be able to add widgets to your notification center. But that is still a step in the right direction. And last but not least, I want to talk about Hey Siri. So basically how this works is you have to plug in your device in iOS 8. And then once you do that, all you have to do is say, hey Siri. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. All right, so it's charging, hey Siri. And you can see that it automatically prompts Siri. So it works really well. Now you also have a tweak called OK Siri on your jailbroken device. And in my opinion, it doesn't work that well. I actually did a review of this. So if you wanna check out the features and how it works and everything, then you can do so by clicking on the link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. So iOS 8 got some really cool features, but is it worth getting rid of your jailbreak? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.